Hi everyone, welcome back to my next quote to live your life by. Today we have a quote from a woman named Elise Boulding. And again, it's, I love this quote. Sorry, I, I, I keep saying it. Uh, she said, uh, <laughs> The consumption society has made us feel that happiness lies in having things and has failed to teach us the happiness of not having things. Elise Boulding. I love that quote. I love the idea that you you have to understand the kernel of the truth here is society has brainwashed us, has taught us from the cradle to the grave, from every TV show you watch, from everything your parents actually have been brainwashed to believing and are now brainwashing you to believing, to when you go to school, to when you talk to your friends, to when you go through higher education, when you go through college, when you go to work. Everything in society is aimed at teaching you a lie. A dirty, filthy lie that happiness lies in possessions and things and more. And that's not true. It's simply not true. Most of us have tried it and proved to ourselves it's not true. You're at this channel because some part of you knows that consumerism is a lie and you want to get out of it. There's an element of that in your heart that knows that. That's why you're listening to this video right now and why your heart is probably responding to those words. It's true. Consumption society has made me feel that happiness lies in having things. And that's just a lie. It teaches against the truth that happiness lies not in having things, but in who you are as a human being and how you live your life. It lies in friends, in family, in community, in connection to nature, in embracing life in its fullest, living a healthy life, having time to spend on the things that are important to you. That's where happiness lies and nowhere else. The idea that happiness lies in things is a filthy lie that we have to break the lie that's gripped our head and our heart and our minds and the way we think and act. So happiness can lie as much in not having things like in van dwelling. I don't have many things, but I am free. I am able to travel. I am able to connect to nature. I am able to connect to other people. And that brings me true and genuine happiness. The things did not. And I'd like everyone else tried to find happiness in things. And no, it does not. The consumption society, consumer society, is brainwashing us constantly to believe that happiness lies in increasing our possessions. It does not. That is a lie. The more you increase your possessions, the unhappier you'll be because you're not free. Because possessions and more and more possessions cannot bring you happiness. It's a proven, actually, scientific fact. The, the psychologists have done a lot of tests on this and has proven over and over again that the more you accumulate, the less happy you are. Sociological tests and experiments and psychological tests have just established that. And you know it in your own heart. You know it in your own experience. Having more possessions doesn't make you happier like society has told you. Consumerism doesn't make you happier. You long for something, you lust for something, you get it, and then the, the thrill is there, and then it fades and disappears. It just does, and it always does. And then you have to move on to the next thing that you long for, and you lust for, and you research it, and you save towards it. Or you just put it on the credit card, and now you've got it, and it's wonderful, and it's amazing, and it's thrilling. And then the thrill is gone and it's not thrilling anymore. And you have experienced that, and that's why you're at my channel or other channels like mine, because you want to break that hole. You don't want to believe the, consume, the consumption societies lie anymore, that happiness lies in more possessions. It's not true. It's a lie. You've proved it to yourself. You're looking for a way to break it. The truth is that society does not teach us that the happiness of not having things. There is happiness in not having things, in having freedom instead. There is happiness in having time to spend with family and friends. 
that you lose when you devote yourself to getting more things, thinking that happiness lies in possessions. There is happiness in having free time that you have to give up to get more things. There is happiness in spending time in nature which you have to give up because society teaches you that happiness lies in more possessions, in more things. When we buy the lie and pursue possessions and things, we give up the things that will truly make us happy. But if we will give up that possessions, give up the pursuit of possessions and things, then we can embrace the things that will make us happy and not having things, but instead having the things of true value will make us happy. So today as you wake up, every morning when you wake up, every day as you go through the day, every day when you go to bed, remind yourself that happiness lies not in more possessions, but in having less possessions, but more things I actually make me happy. Having more things that will actually make me happy. More time with friends, more time in nature, being more healthy by pursuing things that make me healthy, by having time to spend on myself, having time to be in right relationship with myself, with my own heart, with my own mind, with my own feelings, with my friends, my family, with nature, with time. If you'll do that, your life will get better than you've ever imagined. And I want to dare you. I want to dare you to try it. Pursue and finding out if life is really happier with less. And if it is, pursue it harder. And have less and embrace more of things that real have real value to you. Maybe the thing that has more real value to you than anything else is creating, is art, is music, is uh, whatever creative endeavor you love and you want pursue that and see if that doesn't truly make you happy and if having less things is really unimportant to you at all and life is better because of it. I hope you'll try it folks. I hope you'll look into this. You'll make it a daily habit of breaking the power of consumption society's lies that having more will make you happy and will be better because it's not. If you'll do that, I think you'll find your life improving in ways you can't even imagine right now. Folks, give it a try. If you like this video, if you got something out of us, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll see you on the next Quote to Live Your Life By.